My name is Steve Vollmer. I'm assistant professor in biology and at the Marine Science Center at Northeastern University. I'm a geneticist and I work on, on corals and a variety of marine organisms to uh, study their ecology and their evolution. So my lab and, and myself have been working about 10, 15 years in, in Panama on these reefs and one of the systems we've been working on is this disease called white band disease. White band disease basically wiped out two of the Caribbean acroporid corals, the elkhorn and staghorn coral. 95% of them basically died throughout the 80s. They're on the endangered species list. And when we stepped in, we were trying to identify what the pathogen is. Well, one of the ideas is that um, global climate change and a particularly rising sea surface temperature is driving epidemics of coral disease. So a lot of the bacteria that are pathogenic on corals or the ones that we think are pathogenic also have a link to temperature. So the hotter it gets, the more active and virulent they become, as well as its immune system becomes repressed. And so it's the synergy. The coral becomes less um, capable to fight off the disease and the bacteria become more virulent. So it's, it's a double whammy. Corals are a, a complex organism and then they're smothered in bacteria. So there's hundreds of bacteria sitting on the corals and it's a needle in a haystack kind of search. You need to figure out which ones might be causing the disease, whereas which ones might benefit the corals. So the trick that we did is we basically ground up the corals and then applied this, this basic filtration system where we were basically trying to filter out and narrow down the um, bacteria by size. Basically, we showed that some fraction of the diversity of bacteria on corals that's very, very small is causing disease. And then the second thing that's of note is that we, we showed that virus is not causing the disease. Then we also took it one step further and we applied over-the-counter antibiotics that you've probably, or most people have probably taken to fight off um, some bacterial infection, ampicillin and tetracycline. And we treated the slurry of, of coral disease um, with antibiotics, and then we showed that we could, we could stop infections by treating with these, uh, these two antibiotics.